All right, hello and welcome to Resident Evil 3, which this game legitimately just pretty much came out like yesterday and I wanted to record it or but decided against it until today. But anyway, hello and oh, uh, it's been a while since I last recorded something. So I'm going to be really rusty, but I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty stoked to uh play this game. Plus uh Man, Resident Evil 3, Resident Evil 2 and 1 was like my childhood games, especially number 2 and 1. Number 3 I played it, but I mean, it was nice, but at the same time it was like not Resident Evil 2, you know what I mean? But either way, I hear such amazing, amazing, amazing things about this game, and I'm just excited. I am going to nerd out over this, and plus the nemesis. I'm kind of scared though, well not scared scared, but like, I'm kind of scared because of the fact that, well in the original Resident Evil 3, Nemesis would pop out and hunt you, kinda, but apparently in this one he does the same and he's the fucking Nemesis, so I am, uh, so worried. I'm probably gonna die a few times, I'm not gonna be that good, but I don't know. I'm going to just try, I'm going to try to survive, I'm going to try to have fun. Uh, I will say though, this game is completely pretty much blind. I have not watched any videos on it, except for one review by GameRanks. But besides that, I have not watched any reviews, no gameplays, and it's just, it's blind. So I have no idea what's coming up, I have not gotten spoiled or anything like that. So. And I haven't, I don't really remember the original too well. Just some moments like, oh, okay, Nemesis pops out, but I don't remember when he pops out. So either way, I'm just going to start a new game. I'm just going to shut up for a little bit. Uh, because, you know, I'm going to let this, uh, this game get started. But um, assisted, aim assist, recover, uh, nah. We'll play the game on standard. And hopefully we do well. Raccoon City is an industrial uh, metropolis located in the American Midwest. Jill Valentine's, a member of STARS, has been conducting investigations solo as she seeks the truth behind something. And I'm just going to shut up. We're going to have Boulevard. This pandemic has spread faster than any disease in modern history. Angry mobs roam the city, burning buildings. Authorities are bracing for more rioting tonight. There are fires burning, there are people being... He was knocked unconscious, he had some realized... A citywide emergency has been declared. The CDC has quarantined the lower Midwestern Our region of the can't U.S. Say. Commitment, honesty, integrity, these are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella Corps. It's this foundation that will continue to build a brighter future for all of us. I do apologize for any ruckus you hear. I'm just putting on some shorts because I am fucking freezing right now. <sighs> kind of want her jeans. <laughs> Are warm. So it's 8:07. Oh, looks like it's pouring. Wait, are we in first person? 
I did not expect to be a first person at all. Uh, so we have a cactus, some police cars, original colors, cut that pop, cute that pop. Am I supposed to go outside? I don't know. Uh, Raccoon City. Seems like number five, four, umbrella, diseases. So, seems like we have. Actually, I think this is probably something else. Uh, let me see. Okay, so I will say this, um, I think this game is a third person. Uh, so we're playing as Jill Valentine, I know that much, but I think this game is third person, right? Yeah, it is. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh shit, there's toilet paper, holy shit, I actually need some with the pandemic right now that's going on. Just saying. I mean, I don't need some right now, but like, I, it would be nice to actually have that. So, why is there blood right now? Oh, she must be uh, having hallucinations. It's a dream. Holy fuck. Gets worse every night. I would not have liked that dream. Three more at days, all. then I can kiss this town goodbye. What's going on out there? Well, let's see. Seems like some lights are going on. Jill's report, uh, September 26th, 1998. It's already been two months since that passed with Umbrella. Thanks to the suspension, investigations haven't progressed ex exactly as I hope. Perhaps this written record of what I found will prove to be my final duty as STARS officer. I can only hope that it helps lead to the truth. The T-Virus, those infected by the virus, seem to become literal zombies. It appears to be communicable, uh, wait, yeah, uh, vi Viva, or Viva? Several different avenues outlined below bite from an infected individual, allowing the mixing of body fluid, bodily fluids, contact with crows which have eaten infected carrion due to the strength of the T-Virus, uh, airborne infection cannot be discounted. It should be noted that those who survived the incident have not yet developed symptoms. It's unclear whether this is because the T virus has a long incubation period or become or because we just happen to be resistant to the infection we ought to remain vigilant even after this investigation period ends. As for me, aside from my minor difficulty sleeping, I seem to be in a fine shape. Still, I shouldn't get too hopeful. After all, this could just be an extended incubation. Okay, so she thinks that she might be infected. Okay, Umbrella, farm, uh, pharmaceuticals company industries, leader in the market share, focus on military weapons development while maintaining cover as a pharmaceutical company, also security, secretly developing bioweapons. T-virus outbreak at the Arclay Mountains Research Facility predicted the mansion. Uh, incident conspiring conspiring with raccoon leadership large donation to the mayor's Warren's office effectively controls the city so basically 
Umbrella has control of this city. I don't know if I need to, like, explore or, like, if I'm missing stuff. I'm probably gonna miss a lot of stuff, but... There's some pizza. I approve of this food choice in the room. Uh, just like a dream. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay. Who could that be? So you got some milk. Got. Okay. Message from a colleague. Colleague. To Jill Valentine. Hey, Hotshot. How are you holding up? I still can't believe Irons suspended you. It's such bullshit. He ought to pin a medal on you for making it out of that hell hole back in July. Of course you're going to poke around and ask questions about it. I hope you're not mad at me for keeping my head down. Everything's been happening so fast. Stars was the pride of the force when the chief disbanded us out of nowhere. I thought for sure I was going to lose my job. Word has it you're planning to leave Raccoon City. I figured you wouldn't take the suspension line down. Just promise to watch your back. Umbrella won't sit back while you try to dismantle the business. Take care, Jill. Stars, Alpha Team, now and forever. Brad Vickers. P.S. Had to slip this message to the pizza guy to avoid detection. Enjoy the extra large Mega Meat Supreme. It's on me and the guys. Oh, That's so kind of him. Alright, I'm coming. Uh, I am not coming, though. So I don't know why Jill's lying. So they have got me pinned down at home. Guys across the street are watching me from their windows 24-7. Are they Iron's men? Umbrellas? I don't know. And there's no real difference anyway. I know what they're trying to do. They want me to wear me down, torment me into compliance, and it's working. I'm barely eating, barely sleeping. I'm going crazy. I feel like the living dead. But I won't let them win. I have to get out of the city and find a way to make them accountable. They... They will send someone to silence me, of course. If you hear that I've been killed or whatever, it is they do it is they do to people like me. You must pick up the investigation where I left off. I have closed my files. They will tell you everything. You need to know as long as, as this package isn't ex intercepted. I'll be moving out Friday at night, five days. Wish me luck. Just a sec. Okay, 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 I'm coming. Asshole. So it seems like there's a lot of sleeping pills. Hello? Jill! Are, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there! What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain! You gotta get out of there right now! Alright, let me grab my- ah! Oh shit, it's the <gasps> fucking nemesis. I would just heap over and probably die. <laughs> One click and I would tell. <laughs> but it's time to run. <laughs> Fucking Mr. D or Mr. What the hell is that thing? Nope, nope, I am. <laughs> Throwing rocks and shit? Seriously? Oh, I would not do that. Uh, he seems like... I feel like he's going to go through the thing. I mean, he did last time. What the hell? Oh, shit. No way. So, um. Oh, oh shit. Yep, yep, yep.
I feel so bad for Jill. Holy shit, I would not want to be her. She like okay. another two no! more at like four o'clock the second. No! Yeah. Uh, probably better, maybe worse, I don't know. Or probably really bad. Yeah. probably can punch his way through that too, honestly. I wouldn't put it past him. Okay, get out of town. Jill? Over here! Brad! Right. 